Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video. And in today's video, you see the title, you see the title, we are going to be speaking about Tyler. And this clip of her in the Breakfast Club that has gone viral, and then her addressing her blackness. So if you are interested in that, pop, conspiracy theories, trending topics, female rap, my unpopular opinions, whatever I feel like getting into for real, then go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video. Okay, so Tyla is in the news. She's in the news. And the first portion of her being in the news was her being on The Breakfast Club doing an interview. And the question came up about the colored versus black thing. And in the beginning of Tyla's career in the U.S. and her being pushed to the mainstream market, there were a lot of people who were confused about that and were trying to figure out what exactly does that mean? Because in the United States of America, we are considered black and or African American. And Tyla came into the game saying that she was colored and a lot of people were offended by that. But a lot of people didn't simply know that that is what they call black or and or mixed race people in Africa, in South Africa. So she kind of had to come into the game defending that terminology or explaining herself when speaking about it. And so during this interview, I guess she just didn't want to get into it because people were going to take her the wrong way or she didn't feel like having to explain it. So <laughs> this is what happened in the clip. School me on these debates that they be having about your identity as a South African colored person. What, is, what does that even mean? Okay, so you guys saw that clip or whatever, and that went viral. She turned all the way around. She said, mm, what is my manager going to say? Because, you know, I don't know if I want to address this. People are probably going to misconstrue what I'm saying. And she probably didn't feel like getting into the whole debate of it all. There's been a lot of debates about Tyla, a lot of conversations around her. Some people say she's an industry plant. Some people don't really consider Tyla black. Some people do because she is from South Africa. And when Tyla does speak, she does claim her blackness, even though she's mixed with other things. So there's a lot of different opinions about Tyla. Some people do not consider her black. Some people do. I feel like she knows people have misunderstandings about her using the terminology colored. She probably just didn't feel like getting into all of that, right? But it didn't stop her from eventually addressing it. So it turns out after the interview and after that little clip went up, she decided that she would address it. So she did. So I'm going to read it to you. So this looks like as of today, it says June 13th <laughs> up there. And it says, yo, guys, never denied my blackness. I don't know where that came from. I'm mixed with black and Zulu, Irish. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the M word, Indian and colored. In South, I would have been classified as a colored woman. In other places, I would be classified as a black woman. Race is classified differently in different parts of the world. I don't expect to be classified as colored outside of South by anyone not comfortable doing so because I understand the weight of that word outside of SA. But to close this conversation, I'm both colored in South Africa and a black woman. As a woman for the culture, it's and not or. With that being said, a sambe. Okay, so that is what she had to say. She was basically clarifying the terminology and explaining that she isn't denying her blackness and never has denied her blackness. But some people took it that way, I guess, initially when she did the interview because she didn't automatically address it. She kind of looked to her manager to basically say, hey, I don't want to get into that. I didn't look at that or feel as though that meant she was denying her blackness, though, or trying to deny her blackness in any way. I just looked at that as, hey, I'm not trying to get into that right now because somebody is going to not understand what I'm saying when I explain. But way back when, when Tyla first introduced the terminology colored, I understood her the first time when she explained it, that it's just something that's used in where she's from. And that makes sense. We're going to use completely different terminology and words and all different types of things depending on where we are from. So to me, when she explained it, it completely made sense. What about you guys, though? How do you feel about this whole color versus African-American thing? I'd like your thoughts on that below. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and read some comments that people had to say about her statement and the interview. 
Some comments read, because Americans think that they are the only country to exist and that they are the only dictators of what ethnicities and races exist in other countries, it's weird. Goes by the F. Norens, I don't know if I'm saying that right, that she falls under in South Africa because she's South African. Americans think that they have the monopoly on racial identity classification. To this extent, y'all are quite entitled. Leave it to the USA to show how uneducated they are by making others have to speak on their race identity. Newsflash, a lot of countries in the world's focus is economic class more than race. She did well by not answering because it might have been different meaning in a different country. So in South Africa, even when filling out our forms, they ask if you're a black, white, colored Indian. So in South Africa, she is considered as colored and it's been like that in the U.S., it might be offensive term, but not in SA. He clearly said, educate me. What she put on that statement should have been her answer. She refused to take an opportunity to educate. Um, how I look at it is she doesn't have to, especially when she knows it's going to be posted to the internet and the internet will make up their own narrative. She literally explained herself several times of what colored means in her country. Y'all need to leave her alone. Being colored does not mean not black. SMH. There is a genocide in Congo. She should speak about that. Oh, that got a lot of uh, likes. She did write, because Americans have an obsession about what your race is and the skin tone God gave you for some crazy reason. I'm confused on why America is so uneducated. Every country does not define black the same way. Race is a social construct, meaning depending on what society you live in is how you view it. Educate yourself on how race is viewed in different countries. Many countries don't even take race into consideration. They view the people based on their tribe, region, of origin. Again, race is a social construct created by white slash western people and implemented onto the world. In America, black equals African descent, even though many people may have a Native American and white in their ancestry. In South Africa, pure-blooded African from one of the tribes native to that region, while colored equals mixed black with ethnic groups like white, Indian, Asian, etc. Enough said. She identifies with what she identifies. End of story. Everybody always want to have a fake debate or issue. This is primarily an American obsession. She is from SA. We should respect her decision at this time to not be classified into the American box of race check marks. She could have said that then. I'm sad that an African country is identifying people as colored. Okay, but it's not looked at the same way that we look at it here in the U.S. That is the point that a lot of people are missing. It came from Americans not being educated on how racial, ethnic classes work outside of America. Yeah, exactly. We're, we were definitely not taught that in school. Only in America where people would harass you to explain your ethnicity. Y'all's obsession with other people's race or ethnicity is scary. Okay, so how are you guys feeling? Do you feel like she should have explained herself in the interview, you know, in the first place? Or do you feel like it was fine of her not to address it? She shouldn't have addressed it at all? Like, what are your thoughts? I am curious to know. And that is it for this one. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.